Okay, so I'm gonna sew this flower button into the middle. So I've threaded my hand sewing needle, so I have double strand of my knot at the end. My button is where I want it to be. So you kind of have to hold it there with your thumb. And then you're gonna start from the back side, and you have to poke around a little bit to find the hole. There we go. Pull it all the way up. Make sure it's all the way up. Then I'm gonna go back down in the other hole. I'm gonna go back up through the original hole. I'm gonna do this probably four or five times, making sure that I'm pulling it all the way through on the other side. Sometimes you gotta poke around to find it. There we go. Whoop, then I pulled it right back out. There we go. So this is three loops. I wanna do five. So don't get frustrated, this happens to you. It does happen. I'm flipping it over, there we go. <clears throat> now I lost track if that's four or five, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say this one's four, and this will be my last loop. There we go. This is five. So now I need to do a tie off knot on this side. So I'm gonna fold this in so I can grip it. The best way to do a tie off knot is you're gonna take a little tiny stitch, but not pull the needle all the way through. And your thread is in the shape of a U, kind of hanging underneath your needle. I'm gonna take this end of the thread, I'm gonna wrap it around the pointy part of the needle twice. So now there's a loop on that needle, I'm gonna gently put my thumb down to hold that loop down. And now I'm pulling this thread through and I'm pulling this thread, it's pulling through that loop that I just made on the needle and that is going to make a knot and it puts the knot right on top of your fabric. Actually that, there we go, right on top of the fabric, you cut your thread you're all done. So that is sewing on a button.